everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today we're going to have a little aside uh, and talk about pipes with um, modern industrialization. I was given a tip by Box8 on how to connect a pipe without actually having to do all that complicated getting into the right position. So let's have a look at that first. So what I was doing was trying to get into position, make sure I could click this ed end here and then right click it and then that would connect into here. Now the tip the tip is you basically take a pipe of the same type. So this here is gold fluid pipe and here on this one I've got some gold fluid pipe. So if you shift right click this tank, it automatically connects. In fact, the flow is actually input, which is great. It's exactly what I wanted. And then you can actually edit the, edit the pipe by right clicking it. We know we've seen that already. Another thing that I've noticed is if I come along here and I want to connect these pipes in here sometimes you can connect them like this and I wanted to connect this one into here I was going along taking my wrench and right clicking this would connect it in there's another way to do it again the same trick or roughly the same trick if you're doing some tunneling and you want to keep the pipes all joined up if you, if you right click it twice like this it joins up automatically that's another tip and this should work with any type. So for example, let's go down here and break one of the pipes. Uh, one that's particularly difficult is when you've got multiple connections going into a machine. So for example, here, I've got three different pipes coming into this face on this machine. Let's just break this one here like this. Shift right click at the wrench, breaks it. Now I want to connect this back into here again. So let's just take some tin cable. I've got some tin cable here and put it along here. If I right click this, it puts it into position. Now I want to shift right click it and then it connects into that machine. Much, much easier than trying to get underneath and break machines, uh, and break blocks and do it. It'll save a lot of time. I will show you that before. So a very useful tip and many thanks to Block Safe for telling me about this one. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.